ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video on the channel we are back on car mechanic simulator 2018 today and we're going to be continuing on with the third story uh, mission so i did skip the second it was quite a simple one uh, but we are here on the third as i said and this one gave me a bit of bother uh, because it's basically we need to do a rim replacement for the wheels that was simple just remove the wheel separate the wheel and the tire and then get the new rim put it in then just attach the wheels back but it was the second part of this that gave me a lot of issues um, and it was basically a complaint that the engine was making clonking noises and I found most of the components that were making these noises apart from one and this one took me forever to do I spent over half an hour literally stripping down the entire engine to try and find the issue before realizing that I hadn't actually checked the fan and it was indeed the fan so I had to put the entire engine back together again uh, before being able to do anything else and that I have to say was quite embarrassing but I did get it sorted and you will see that in this video I had to do quite a bit of cutting out because I didn't really want you all to see me taking the engine apart and putting it back together for absolutely no apparent reason now you can see what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just checking the size of the rim so I buy the right one and we're just going to be buying the same one that was already on the car I, don't, I didn't really see a point in changing it because he just said that the rims needed to be replaced, he never said for them to be different now whilst I actually put these rims on I do go and check the engine So this is where I begin with the engine. I start by going into the examine mode and just having a look around, see if I can pick anything up straight away. Now it does take me a while to get to the actual components that need replacing. And you can see pretty much everything that I'm going over with the mouse is what I removed later on. Uh, it was it was quite a big hole left in the car once I'd finished with it. You can see the belt tensioner is one of the things that we need to remove as well as the uh, belts themselves. There are a few other components in it that just needed to be changed up. You can see they're quite low some of them. And you can see they've all highlighted apart from the bottom one which was of course the fan. Of course the last thing I checked quite literally. Um, so that was good fun taking the entire engine apart to put it back together again took a long time to do so this part I'm just putting the new rims onto the tyres now the tyres were actually okay they're in quite good condition so I don't know how the rims got so bad because generally the tyre will deteriorate quicker but not the case in this car it was quite funny because when I was selecting this mission the you may have seen at the beginning the person whose car this is is actually a gamer like myself and he wanted to prove to people that he can drive in real life as he does in the games and this is why I'm doing the work on his vehicle and I thought that was quite a funny thing
So it's at this stage where I actually go back to the engine and start removing some of the parts that I highlighted earlier on. You can see the belt tensioner is coming up first, followed by the belts. And I actually go a bit overboard, stripping down almost the entire section of the engine, this section of the engine. Because, like I said, at the time I didn't actually know what other, the other component was that I would need to uh, take off. Now at this point I try to use the examine tools to see uh, if I could use those because on some of the components it does require you to use tools to be able to examine them whilst they're in the car but I soon found out that I didn't actually have any tools to use so I just had to make do with uh, just clicking on them with the mouse and seeing what I could find on the ones that I could. So this is where I start taking apart the timing area, so you can see the timing belt and the timing cogs there, or the camshaft cogs, and this was quite pointless because they're not what's making the clonking noise at all, in fact they have nothing to do with it because as I keep saying, it's the fan. At this point I'm actually haunted by the fact that it was the fan and I went through all of that work for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now at this point I decide I'm going to take a break from doing the engine work and just refit the tyres because to be honest I didn't want to have to take any more of the engine apart at that point and I thought whilst the tyres are sitting there we'll put them back on the car. So that's exactly what I did. So it's at this point where I actually go in and check the car information again to see what there is and I actually start to buy some of the stuff I need. Now at this point I'm just checking to see what I've got in my inventory to make sure that I do actually buy the correct items because if I don't that's going to be slightly problematic. Now thankfully the belts are nice simple ones and really I should have remembered the belt tensioner because there's only one of them uh, but I didn't. Now the idler, there were two choices so again not a lot so I should have remembered it. You can see that cut was from half an hour of disassembling and reassembling the engine and you can see I just took the fan off and straight away I can go in and buy the new one. Now this is the point where I start putting the car back together again and in a little bit you'll see that I can't actually complete the job because there's no oil in the car. 
And that is my own fault because I started taking the car apart from underneath, forgetting there was still oil in it. And I had quite a large spillage and had to pay, I think it was about $100 to clean it up. That was not fun. Now I actually forgot about this coming to finish the order so it did warn me and I had to go back and top that up. And I suppose that's what I get for taking the entire car apart and here is that very moment. There we go, won't let me finish it because there's no oil in the engine. Now when I go to top up the oil, I don't really have a plan, I just hold down the mouse button until it starts overflowing, which is obviously not the way to do it in real life, but in this it works. So as you can see, that was done. So that is it, that is the end of the video. Now hopefully you all enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.